hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys this is something that i agree fully with because to do otherwise will be absolutely pointless given the antecedents that we already have in place so with that guys i bring you this pdp may not participate in future elections and this is attributed to secondus so that's the headline uh, pdp may not participate in future elections and this is the headline attributed to the lead pdp man uche secondus so now let's see what the pdp party has to say this time around the people's democratic party pdp on monday expressed fears of participating in upcoming gubernatorial elections being planned for edo and ondo states in 2020 it also re-echoed its disappointment in the conduct of the just concluded kogi and bayelsa governorship elections by the independent national election commission INEC. pdp therefore tasked the independent national electoral commission INEC to embark on electoral amendment through the national assembly to address most of the challenges in conducting elections in the country. The PDP national chairman, Prince Uche Secundos, said this whilst addressing INEC delegation who came to carry out a routine verification exercise at the party's national headquarters in Abuja. Whilst addressing some of the operatives of the electoral umpire, Secundos alleged that the INEC integrity was at stake given the trajectory of elections it has conducted so far in the country. He pointed out that some of the INEC staff have compromised their offices. In his words, INEC as presently constituted has integrity questions. Some of the staff have compromised their offices. We advise that INEC should go back to the drawing board and consider the past elections it has conducted. Even INEC needs a reform. We can't continue this way. It's either we practice the American model or adopt the Egyptian model where soldiers shall be part and parcel of the election process. Further, the PDP national chairman affirmed it was time for INEC to submit the necessary amendments to the National Assembly so that an improved legal framework can be put in place for a free and fair election to be achieved. He, however, added that the conduct of the 2019 general election set Nigeria backwards. Some of the bitter lessons, according to Secundus, are thuggery, killing, militarization of the voting scenes and disruption of voting process. Others are the alleged INEC involvement in operating the APC agenda, brigandage, intimidation, coercion and manipulation of results, hijacking of electoral materials and deployment of military helicopters amongst others. It is on this premise that the PDP advocated for the legalization of electronic voting and ban on military participation in elections. In his reaction, the INEC Deputy Director, Election and Party Monitoring, who headed the delegation, Musa Hosanu said all the comments, observations and concerns of the PDP would be considered. Hosanu, however, ruled out things the INEC team came to do as a matter of routine verification exercise to include evidence of office headquarters, five copies of the party's constitution, list of NEC committee members, physical presence of NEC members, membership registration, and books of account. But the PDP averred that what happened in Oshun, Ekiti, Bayosa, and Kogi State were not democratic enough to guarantee future participation in the elections by the opposition political parties. So now this is now the position now of the PDP, a consideration of not now participating in our future elections. And I will suggest that they test this out with the Edo and Ondo state elections. So these are not really national elections and these are really states that they can just give it up as really a pressure point on the INEC uh, system to say that look we have no confidence now in you being an uh, unbiased umpire of this electoral process therefore we will not be participating 
in this election as a form of protest and they should then make a lot of publicity around that to say that look we are not participating not because we cannot contest and not because we have fear of losing but because we do not have faith in this process which brings forth the sort of elections that we saw in Kogi state and the sort of goings on that we saw in Oshun state when the people of the state voted for a candidate and you then just completely set aside their wish and imposed somebody entirely not of their choosing so we cannot have this sort of a going son and then purport and pretend to be uh holding an election because an election of course should be down to the people to choose whoever they want to lead them and it is not then up to you to then say that the person chosen by the people is not the person that is going to occupy the space that they have elected them into so this sort of our going on that we have in nigeria is nothing to do with democracy and if we want to have a democratic system then we have to have an independent umpire and we do not certainly have an independent umpire now there's been no elections conducted in that country over the course of the last two three years that is anything the semblance of a democratic will of the people this is just effectively people appointing themselves into positions this is really all that is going on to the point that we had helicopters being used to intimidate uh, members of the public in kogi state the nomilaye lost his own uh, relative a pdp chieftain was burnt to death and uh, at the end of it or ballot snatching to the point that uh, that color logging was all over the media houses almost in tears so enraged it was it that even in his own word he, he, he could just to open mouth aghast as these things were just being done in front of his eyes and then Einek seeing all this process still declares a winner in an election that everybody saw what happened and uh, Natasha I can't remember her last name but the, the SDP lady Natasha who was the governorship candidate for uh, SDP in Kogi state you should hear her harrowing narration of what happened she was almost virtually beaten up as she was trying to attend a seminar that was being held for all of the candidates to have their say to the people and they didn't even allow her to participate by the way until about four days before the elections they didn't have her name on the ballot box they were using biro to write her name wherever they bothered to write her name at all and you call that an election how can you have an election when one of the leading candidates contesting for the position, their name is not even on the ballot box? How can you call that an election? That is certainly not an election. That is just a charade. And by the way, the whole thing that happened in Kogi State was an absolute charade. They were saying that some of the electionary materials that were actually used for the balloting were actually materials from 2015. This is 2019. So you, you can just see how ridiculous the whole system is. The brutalization, the militarization, the burning down of SDP uh, party offices, the killings and whatnot and at the end of that you declare that you have had a free and fair election because that is the test of an election a free and fair election that reflects the will of the people and this is what you're saying to the people of kogi state that this guy that has not paid you salaries is the person that has a uh, emerged after all of this highly brutal and um, extremely corrupt process as the winner so this is just a complete charade so what then is the point in participating at all because if you participate then you give it a veneer of legitimacy so then are you not then better off just withdrawing yourself as a complete protest to say that look we are not participating because we do not have faith in this system and therefore there's absolutely no point in participating because there's already antecedents to show that nothing that is going to happen here is going to reflect the will of the people or it's going to be a free and fair election so it will be a more potent move to withdraw their candidates as a protest and then to delegitimize whoever then emerges because of course somebody will still emerge anyway they will just see it as an open goal because you know all this or sure Molly, they doesn't have the brain to understand what that protest will mean he will just see it as an open ticket they say ah we have defeated them to stupor to the point that they cannot even come out of bed then you know he will just make all his daft comments because the nuance of what is being done is will be completely lost on him because of course 
course we all know that uh Osho Mole is just a dunce, you know, but you still made that protest anyway, and that is now on record and that will resonate internationally to say that look, the faith has been completely lost in the Nigerian electoral process to the point that the second party of a two party system is now withdrawing from participating in the elections because they have lost absolute confidence in this uh, process because it is that corrupt that would be the more potent thing to do because if you present a candidate of course they will just rig your candidate out anyway we've seen it in Oshun we've seen it in Ekiti we've seen it in Kogi we've seen it in Bayelsa and we'll see it again we saw it at the national level so there's absolutely no point in participating conversations in the comment section what is your view this idea that is being muted by uh Uche Sokendos is one that I fully back for the PDP to withdraw participation from elections until there are guarantees that the will of the people will be reflected in the person that is declared the winner. And by the way, that uh, Mahmoud Yakubu as well she has to be gotten rid of. They have to step him down as the chairman of our uh, INEC because clearly he just has his own agenda and his agenda has nothing to do with the will and the wants of the Nigerian people. Come share thoughts with me about all this in the comment section. But before you come share thoughts, click on the red subscribe button so it turns grey. Bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video. Then come tell me what you're making of the Nigerian electoral process in the comment section. So I'll leave you here. Join in the comment section. But here I say peace.